You know that thing where you switch on your table saw and it dims the lights and maybe even trips a breaker, powering down half the tools in your shop? A few videos ago I promised I'd talk about how I'd go about fixing that, so let's give it a try. Electric motors have high current draw upon startup. This is because when the rotor isn't moving, the only resistance in the circuit is the motor windings. The windings themselves are low resistance and if power is applied while the shaft isn't moving, the result is high current draw. Once the shaft starts spinning, there's more resistance in the form of magnetism. The term for this is inductive reactance. The soft start device works to mitigate that high current, low resistance environment by slowly ramping up the voltage. Removing the switch and switch box is fairly straightforward. Since I decided to mount the soft start device on the switch box itself, I needed to remove it. The original switch wiring is very straightforward. Mains hot is switched to the motor hot lead and the mains neutral is switched through to the neutral on the motor. The Hitachi soft start module has three leads, brown, black, and blue, and is inserted on the motor side of the switch. The brown lead connects to the switch pole opposite the mains hot or black wire. The black lead connects directly to the hot or black lead on the motor. The blue lead connects to both the switch lug opposite mains neutral as well as the white neutral motor lead. Mounting the soft start unit in the switch box requires two holes and some M4 screws and nuts. I use some Loctite as the vibrations on these saws is fairly severe. Next, I drilled a pilot hole and then used a step bit to enlarge the hole in order to accept the wire bushings I made in Fusion and 3D printed. More on that in a minute. I installed spade connectors on the leads from the soft start device to mate with the already existing connectors on the saw. The brown wire got a female connector. The black wire got a male connector. The blue wire got a piggyback connector. I'll leave links to all the tools and parts I used in this video in the description below. In Fusion, I designed a bulkhead wire grommet to keep the wires exactly where I placed them. It's essentially just a large screw that has three holes in it for the wires and is split in half to facilitate installation. It's held together with a large nut. The wires are fed through the hole in the switch case. The two halves of the grommet are placed around the wires, making sure the wires are passing through the holes and the nuts screw down inside. A drop of cyanoacrylate is placed on the nut as a sort of Loctite solution to keep it from vibrating loose. Back at the saw, the mains input lead grommet is reconnected to the bottom position on the switch box and the motor lead grommet is connected to the top. Note that in this video the saw is turned upside down. Within the box, the black lead from the soft start is connected directly to the black lead on the motor. This part gets a bit tight and fiddly, so to give myself a third hand, I temporarily installed the mounting screw to keep the box in place while making the connections. The brown soft start lead is connected to the switch lug that will be switched through to the black hot mains lead. Next, reconnect the white neutral mains lead to its appropriate lug. 
Then the blue soft start lead with the piggyback connector is installed on the switch. Finally, the white neutral lead from the motor is connected to the male portion of the piggyback connector. The leads are short and a bit tough to work with, but as usual, a little patience and perseverance will get you there. Note that it is critical that these connections are made correctly. Incorrectly installing this device on your saw can have undesired consequences. Do not attempt this modification if you are uncertain in what you are doing. It doesn't really translate in the video, but there is an audible difference in the startup sound of the saw. But most importantly, no more breaker popping in rush current. I've been very happy with the mod so far. It's taken a while to get out of the habit of wincing every time I start the saw, but I think the healing has begun. If you found the video helpful or entertaining, please strike a like and let me know down in the comments. Your interaction really does help me out, and I always enjoy hearing from you. Well, that's it for now. Until next time, I'm Maine Jason. Get out there and give it a try. Start device for the mitigate that